Hey guys, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are on California's Redwood Coast for this episode. So, stick around. In our last episode, number 52, from Newport, Oregon, which I'll link to right here, I mentioned that the drive south of Newport is gorgeous. It was, but a thick marine layer and blistering winds kept me from filming much at all. Now we're in the Elk Country RV Park, uh, which is about halfway between Trinidad and Oric, California, just south of Redwood National Park, Redwood National and State Parks, I should say, because it's kind of a, a mixed operation uh, as far as maintaining those old growth redwood forests. We're gonna go check them out. Uh, let's take a peek first at the RV Park, and then I'll take you north into Redwood National Park. Elk Country is your typical RV park. Its beauty is that it's located near the ocean and just south of the North Coast Redwoods. Sites are either situated on grass pads in a large meadow, that's a regular stop for some of the region's elk, or deep within an adjacent forest. At $40 for full hookups, at California prices it's a steal, but don't count on the park's Wi-Fi, for which they charge for data at high rates. We got good Verizon 4G signal with our booster, however. The historic Stone Lagoon School is on site at Elk Country RV Park for an interesting and photogenic diversion. Numerous swallows, who seem intent upon taking down my drone, had built their nests under the eaves of the school. The region's towering coast redwood trees once covered two million acres of forest along the northern California coast where almost daily fog ensures their survival. After decades of heavy logging, the state protected several key groves of these world's tallest trees in the 1920s, and in 1968, Redwood National Park was created. Together, Redwood National and State Parks protect nearly 40,000 acres of ancient forest, almost half of all that remain. These trees rise to nearly 380 feet, bigger than the vertical drop of some ski areas that we've skied. They grow to as much as 22 feet in diameter at their base. The giant sequoias found elsewhere in California are even thicker and older, but no tree grows as tall as the Coast Redwood. If these forests look familiar, you just might be a Star Wars fan. For the moon of Endor in Return of the Jedi was filmed in a California coast redwood forest. These trees are so colossal that they're almost impossible to capture on film. And ancient, too. I mean, some of these things are over 1,500 years old. Think about that. 500 AD, these things were alive. So inside Redwood National Park, we're gonna go take a hike up Fern Canyon. Why don't you come along? Speaking of movies, Fern Canyon was used as a backdrop in Steven Spielberg's second Jurassic Park film. 
just a tenth of a mile past the end of Davison Road, Fern Canyon turns in from the coast, a narrow stream gorge wallpapered by ferns. You literally walk right up the stream bed to access this lush canyon. hiking boots at home, for Keen or Teva sandals are more apropos on this hike, where wet feet are virtually guaranteed. Some parts of the canyon appear choked with driftwood, but obvious roots skirt these obstacles, easily overcome by all members of the family. If you opt for the full loop, you'll return above the canyon rim through a lush forest, with this return section much to yourselves. Near the Fern Canyon parking lot is Gold Bluffs Beach, where massive waves pound a beautifully pristine stretch of California coastline that was once home to a short-lived and wildly unsuccessful gold rush. Set back several hundred yards from the water's edge, you can actually hear the waves echoing off the cliffs of Gold Bluffs. So that was a fun hike. Um, it's only about a mile, so it's very easy for the whole family. Uh, if you do the whole loop, uh, you actually walk up the stream bed like you saw in the video, and then you wrap up around onto the rim the north rim of the canyon to come back to the parking lot. Kind of reminds me of a miniature rainforest version of the Narrows in Zion. Uh, and then you have Gold Beach, right at Gold Hill Beach right afterward for having a great little picnic. Nice way to spend a day with the family. Just south of Elk Country RV Park is the tiny seaside town of Trinidad. There are a few restaurants and cafes and a harbor and boat launch but for the RV traveler, the key attribute of Trinidad is its splendid scenic beauty. So we really enjoyed our trip through Redwood National Park, our visit to Trinidad and the whole Eureka area. 
Um, the one thing we didn't get to see are the elk. Supposedly there's an entire herd of elk that inhabits this RV park every morning. Maybe we just slept through them this morning. Uh, there's plenty of elk poop around to make sure that they verifies that yes they do indeed hang out in this RV park but we haven't seen them yet hopefully we'll see them tomorrow morning before we hit the road we're gonna head further south um, don't want to go too far inland because it's about 105 degrees just 30 or 40 miles inland of here so staying along the coast we're keeping temperatures in the low 60s which is a lot more pleasant for camping um, not quite sure where we're gonna end up you know the drill for the next episode make sure that you subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber to Grand Adventure ring that notification bell give us a thumbs up if you like this video we'd love to hear from you in the comment section and until next time please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure we'll see you soon